Hey, yo! Beer review time. Coming at you live from the, uh, the Pilgrim Hotel. Uh, we had, we had a great time at the festival. I have no idea when this is going to go up. Got a lot of reviews done in Hanoi. Great job. Thanks for everyone who jumped on the channel. Did a beer review. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, so shout out to my guy, Anan Jahathis. Thanks so much. He brought, uh, five, he always brings beers when he comes from Singapore to visit. We love it. Uh, he brought five this time. I don't want to bring any of them back to Saigon. I don't have to check my bag, so we got to bang them all out. This is number four of five. Hopefully we get that last review, and we're going to drink it either way. There may or may not be a video. Um, but yeah, it's, so it's we're filming uh, Monday morning, getting ready to check out of here, and uh, maybe have a little lunch, and then go to the airport to go to Saigon. I don't know why you need all that information. You don't. I just gave it to you anyway. Because I'm a generous, giving person. Merck Life Balance. Hazy Pale Ale. Love the name. Also the artwork. Don't really know what's going on. But it is... Uh, artistic. Which is what you want out of artwork. <laughs> Sorry. Just turn the sound down on my computer. Uh, what do we got? Magic, oh, excuse me, Magic Rock Brewing. I've seen these guys in Singapore before. Not surprising that a man brought it back from Singapore. Uh, not sure if I've tried or reviewed any of their beers before. I will, uh, I'll do some research afterwards when it'll be too late. Think Magic, Drink Magic, Huddersfield, UK, Brewing Can in the UK, registered by the Vegan Society. Woo! Shout out to the Vegan Society. Uh, and just real quick before we get going, thanks uh, to Lamont Wynn, as always, for uh, putting on the Turtle Lake Beer Festivals. The only reason I come up to Hanoi anymore is to go to the Turtle Lake Beer Festival. We'd love it. Uh, shout out to Cha Wynn, the coward, for uh, organizing the event. My buddy Tuck for coming up and helping out behind the booth, as he is wont to do. And I think that's it. Let's go. We do one sip. We give it a score of 0 through 10. We try one beer every day until we've tried them all. We're not there yet. We're still going. Should have probably gotten a glass. Shout out to Philip John Deans. It's not going to happen because I'm sitting in my hotel room early in the morning. It's not that early. Can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. One sip. Everybody knows the rules. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's really good. It's, uh, the style Hazy Pale Ale, for me, like, and I don't know if I'm just formulating this right now on the fly, but I love Hazy IPAs when I'm in the mood, when they're balanced, when they're good. Like, Hazy Pales don't work as well for me, personally, because the point of a Pale Ale is that it's a little less hoppy, a little less bitter, a little less alcohol than an IPA. But then you get the haze in there, and now all of a sudden it's like really juicy hoppy again. So it tastes more like a like if you can if you did a blind taste test with five juice or five hazy pails and five hazy IPAs, would you be able to tell which ones were pale and which ones were IPA? I don't know because if it's this hoppy, there's not much to distinguish it between an IPA and a pale ale. There's the alcohol content, obviously, and that's, but that, I mean, sometimes you can tell the beer is really boozy, sometimes you can't. I'm just riffing here. One sip, everybody knows the rules. Think magic, drink magic, love that. Magic Rock Brewing, 5% alcohol by volume, I don't know if I mentioned. It's a really good beer, it's just not like, I think it's a tough category, the Hazy Pale and I've probably given good scores to Hazy Pale before and not had this existential crisis that I'm having right now in my mind. Um, I, I tried to get some of the beautiful foliage. Shout out to Hanoi uh, outside of my window, but I couldn't really frame it upright and still be. Anyway, it is what it is. Should probably get a tripod. We've been going, we've been going 550 plus days without one. Oh! One sip, everybody knows the rules! Really good beer. It's... Bit of, bit of hot burn. I don't know if, it, if that's because of travel. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's a tough style of nail. We're gonna go eight point seven because it's a it's a very drinkable beer. Uh, but yeah, not it's not gonna quite get in the nines. Oh! Unless there's one more, this is us signing up from Hanoi. That's a review.